after days of printing, it was finally time to assemble the new commando droid. And this is where it gets real, turning dozens of 3D printed pieces into one seamless life-size droid. And that's where the pet gloop is coming in. Think of it like super glue of the 3D printing world, if super glue were a molecular level bonding wizard. The pet gloop is specifically designed for pet G-filament, and it works by actually melting the surfaces of the parts together. After it cures, the bond is supposed to be stronger than the filament itself. I heard a lot about the glue products and people seem to really like them. Typically when you see me connect pieces together in the past, I use CA glue, plastic welding, or plastic welding staples. And for Alex and I, this is our first time using pet gloop or any of the gloop products on a project. Using a small brush, Alex spread a generous layer of the gloop on each mating surface. And by generous, I mean like full coverage. The goal is to ensure every inch of the surface had contact for maximum strength. Because the shape of these pieces are from a galaxy far, far away, using clamps wasn't really an option for us. So we really had to rely on gravity and some creative positioning to ensure that everything was snug. Sometimes that meant holding the parts in place for up to 10 minutes while we whispered encouragement to the droid. Once lined, we let the gloop cure for at least an hour. This was the hardest part, the waiting. But honestly, the patience really paid off here. And like with any project, we picked up a few tips along the way. Like sanding both surfaces before we apply the gloop to make it a better bond. And also, do not skimp on the gloop. Less is not more with this. This product definitely tested our patience, but I will say, it created a beautiful seamless finish and a very secure bond making our job that much easier when we move on to the next stage of the process, which is removing layer lines. 